Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is uh, Minister Paul in Northern California. I'm going to give an update. First of all, I pray over everybody within the sound of my voice. I pray God's love and mercy and grace be shown upon us through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So I was going to do something here. I'm going to go to the Word of God real quick. Matthew 24. We're, we're basically living this, and I won't be long, I promise you. Just hold on, and I'm just going to say a couple of things and be done. I'll con continue sounding the alarm as long as the Lord tells me to. I'm here to serve God, not people. Okay, so he's asked, by, Jesus is asked by the disciples, what shall be the, what shall uh, these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And the end of the world. And then he be commences to answer them. The first thing it says. Take heed that no man or person deceive you. And, th and that's happening. And then he talks about. Let's break this down. Don't be troubled. Because there's a deception coming. And Jesus is speaking to us through all eternity. His word is infallible and unchangeable. That time hasn't come yet. But we're beginning to enter it. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. I made a video today about Russia scrambling jets. The American, you know, sending them a warning. China, Lord have mercy on us. See, don't, you're not troubled. That's the most important. For all these things have to happen. That's what it says. All these things have to happen, but then it's not yet. Not yet. Nations, got, and we're talking about the end of the world here. Not Harpozo. Do you understand? They didn't ask him, when, when are you coming again? They asked him, what's the sign of your coming and the end of the world? It's a, it's a two-stage question. So this is the end of the world he's telling them about. Nation's going to rise against nation. It'll all be centered around Israel. And kingdom against kingdom. And there'll be famines. You know, California's in a drought. Uh, the Midwest is in a famine. And the East Coast is in freeze. And then it says there will be pestilence and earthquakes in different places. And these are the beginning of the sorrows. We have entered the beginning of sorrows. And after that, it says they're going to lay hands on you and take you into custody. The word pestilence means a fatal outbreak, uh, an epidemic disease. And it gives the example of bubonic plague. That's fatal. That's pestilence. Let me say it here. Pestilence. 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 Sound the alarm, man. I mean, I don't know what more people need to see. So here's the, the fireball report update. February 24th, 160 reports from Connecticut. The one I saw outside my window now has 13 reports from California and Nevada all the way up into Oregon. Look at these. They're just fireballs raining down from the 27th everywhere. Take a look at this. And then we have 45 pinion reports. By tomorrow, this will be like 100. And just look at the areas, Washington, Washington, Wisconsin, Illinois, everywhere. This is interesting that, that this area has seen them. I'm going to get to the point here. I'd like to see a map of this. The Lord has been showing me lots of things, and, and I'm not trying to... Uh, say that California's better because it's not. California's actually the worst. And I pray that the Lord lead me out of here, me and my family. Okay, well, they're not going to move this stupid thing, of course. But there's a map in here. There we go. you got to be smarter than the computer. So I've been shown Chicago, and not just me, many people. Uh, Chicago and li literally drawn a map right to here when I had a dream about radiation and stuff blocked they've been calling all day i blocked it you're getting spam calls block it they'll call as soon as you go to tell the truth the the secret service let me tell you this the reason why i'm making this video is to so re remember this it's the whole world chicago uh, new york especially in california uh there's several watchmen on the wall been sounding the alarm on several things. Tsunamis, earthquakes, fireballs, and you're seeing it. So I want to take you to this video right here, which was on what? 
February 24th. This is the night I saw the fireball. And it said, outbreaks, earthquakes, and fireballs. Okay? So, we got hit by a 4.1 today. And it's just a precursor of bigger things to come. Whoa, that one just came in. I, I knew that. This is a... Uh, this is the Azores Islands in Portugal. My brother was stationed here. Just hit. There's two there, actually. It's beginning to shake. But here's the 4.1. Let me show you. Yeah, so this was updated. Unreal. When I, when I first saw this come in, it was a 2-something. Now it's updated to a 3.6. And how deep? One kilometer? Hmm. Okay, so let's find this uh, 4.1 here. Right here. Three hours ago, 4.1. Well, depending on which person you want to believe. I mean, not much difference, right? So now let's talk about pestilence. This story is breaking. Health officials confirm typhus fever case in Manhattan Beach. I'm just going to put a link to this. You don't need me to read it to you. But let's look at what typhus is. It's called the uh, it's called the jail fever. It's referred to as jail fever because it's very, very uncommon. Let me say that it's not just typhus. It's not just a flu, a, a, a bird flu or a swine flu no longer. It's not just measles outbreak. It's not people die. Over 52 people have died in California from H1N1, it, these things are just appearing every day, a new one. Measles outbreak on the BART uh, subway in San Francisco, 90 minutes southwest of here. Watchmen on the wall sounding the alarm. Pestilence, 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 earthquakes, diseases. What happens next? We get taken into custody. So here, I'm going to put a link to this article, but and this one also. It's seen during the summer and fall, which it isn't. It's rarely deadly, thank you, Jesus. And, and look what, look who the people get this. You have to be around rat feces, just like the hunter virus, or fleas and animals. It's spread by lice. Symptoms. Here's the symptoms. I'm going to put a link to all this to keep this video short. Put a link to the article. So you can read it, put a link to the earthquake map so you can monitor it, put a link to the holy word so you can obey it, put a link to the fireball thing so you can see for yourself and not just my word. Now let's go check the earthquake map one more time. What's this? Put a link to this area and, uh, in New York. I could pull out my Google Earth, but this video would turn into a 30-minute uh, video because this outbreak is in New York. And many watchmen on the wall have been sounding the alarm about Chicago and New York. It's the word of God coming to pass, fireballs. So I should receive my new camcorder uh, today. It's 2.27 at uh, almost 3 o'clock, and I can't wait to, to get a greater... Uh, coverage of what I'm seeing up there in the sky day and night and uh, whatever the Lord leads me to record and it has like a better stability and a lot of things and it wasn't really that much money it's supposed to come today I pray for you all I pray that God open your eyes I pray that you believe and receive that he alone is the only way out of what's coming quickly and suddenly upon the world and I rebuke all evil spirits and unclean things and demons out away from this house and into dry places where they belong. They have no authority or no business in this ministry. I plead the blood of Jesus over this home and I speak peace and blessings over you and the protection and provision from Jehovah Jireh, our provider. Shalom. I forgot to mention one very important thing, so I hit pause. I got a call today from a brother in Texas. There's a woman who makes a lot of exposure videos of the evil government does. The Secret Service visitor house because she called a senator or something like that. And um, Lord have mercy. 
if the Secret Service starts coming after all the people putting out the truth and tries to silence us, know that the Lord your God, that's Ruby. Pray for Ruby too. She's been really thirsty lately. She has diabetes. Um, not only are they visiting her and investigating her, but all of her friends too. Who's next? Are you ready? Are you prepared for whatever you may have to face? According to Matthew 24 and Luke 21. It's just asking. The world is shaking and baking and freezing all at the same time. And Jesus Christ is at the will getting ready to come back for those obedient and that are counted worthy to escape. Sure. 